In today's video, we're going to take a look at setting up a zero account for a subcontractor who works within the construction industry scheme. We're going to look at Bertie the Builder, who's a subcontractor working within CIS, the construction industry scheme. We're going to see how easy it is to set up his account in Xero and we're also going to look at a straightforward transaction. Let's head into Xero and I'll show you how. Okay, we're on the Xero dashboard for Bertie the Builder. We want to choose Accounting, Advanced, and then over to the right, we want to select Financial Settings. And then if we scroll down, we've got this section for Construction, industry scheme. So we want to say that Bertie the Builder is a registered subcontractor. So we tick that and then we need to fill in two pieces of information. So, so we need to fill in Bertie's unique taxpayer reference, which you'll have from HMRC. It's 10 digits. And then we also need to choose the subcontractor deduction rate, the standard rate being 20%. Once we've selected that, scroll down and save. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the chart of accounts. So we're going to go to accounting, we're going to choose advanced again, and we're going to select our chart of accounts. So it's not surprising when we scroll down our chart of accounts that under the revenue section, we've got a new code, 210 CIS labour income. CIS only applies to labour, it doesn't apply to materials. So what else would we expect to see on our chart of accounts? Well, what's going to happen is we're going to issue sales invoices and a deduction is going to be made before these invoices are paid. The deduction is a prepayment against Bertie, the subcontractor's tax and national insurance. So it's actually an asset. It's something that he's paying in advance. So we can scroll down and look and see what else we can find, or we can go to different sections in our chart of accounts. So for example, if we were just looking for that sales code, we could have gone to the revenue tab and we would have found it. And now we want to go to the asset tab. And in the asset section, if we look, we've now got what Zero is called a CIS asset. And there's a description there. It's an amount of your CIS liability that's been deducted from your construction labour invoices. So those are the two codes that have been set up in Zero because in your financial settings, we have said that you're a subcontractor. Okay, let's look at issuing a sales invoice under the CIS scheme. So we'll go to our big plus and we'll choose invoice. And we have Bertie working for Happy Home Builders. Let's we'll say it's £100. Now we need to select the CIS account. So CIS labour income. And now we can see what happens in zero. So once we've selected that code, that is as normal. So actually I want to say tax exclusive because the numbers are now easier to make sense of. So we've got work done that is £100. We've coded it to CIS labour. And when we did that, look what's happened down at the bottom. We've got our subtotal of £100. We've got VAT at 20%, £20, £120. Now it can be confusing because the CIS deduction is the same as the VAT amount, but the CIS deduction is going to be 20% of the subtotal before VAT. So let's approve the invoice. It's good to understand what's happening in zero. So now we're going to take a look at the profit and loss accounts. And I'm only choosing today so that there's not much else shown on our profit and loss account. But here we have our income as we would expect because we've issued an invoice for £100. The fact that there's going to be a deduction does not have any impact on our sales value. OK, so let's take a look at our trial balance in zero. So we're going to choose accounting again. And it's one of my favourites, so I can pick it up from the reports section. It's defaulting to today's date, which is what we want. And if we scroll down to the CIS asset, there we have the £20 showing in the year to date debit column. The other thing we're going to do, still in the reports, this time we're going to pick up our aged receivables. 
We're on our age receivables report and we are looking for happy home builders and here we can see that they owe us £100. So just a reminder what that is, the invoice is for £100 plus VAT which is 120 less the CIS deduction so it's £100 that we're going to be paid. Okay to follow through what happens in Zero, I'm going to mark this invoice as paid. So it's great working with happy home builders because they've actually paid us today. I'm going to say it's paid to the business bank account. So we're going to say add payment just so that we can see what now happens in Zero. So now if we go to reports and we know that there's a report in Zero called CIS suffered. If we don't know where to find it, we can just go to the search box and now we can see it's under the tax section. It's a new style report and we pick it up. It's going to default to the tax month it's ended. Now, because we've entered a transaction dated the 13th of February, nothing is going to show. 6th of February to 5th of March. And then I'm going to choose update. And now that we can see because that sales invoice has been paid, we've got a CIS amount suffered of £20 appearing on our report. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, put them below, and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.